sorry that these are my questions, but I didn't create this drama and it's very real. And I'm not the one that agreed to a one person motion to vacate. That's you guys, not me. Um, CNN was shown a copy of Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene's letters uh, to her Republican colleagues. Did you get a copy? I did. Um, so what would you think of it? Uh, look, I think it's a bunch of hogwash. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day here, uh, the American people elected a House Republican majority to govern, to serve as a check and balance on the Biden administration, not to fight amongst ourselves. Uh, uh, It's mind boggling to me uh, that after what happened in October, where eight Republicans teamed up with 208 Democrats to remove Kevin McCarthy and throw our majority into uh, disarray, Uh, that we would be back in this situation where a member is bringing forward a motion to vacate. To say that Mike Johnson is not a conservative, (laughs) I I would hate to know what she thinks of me then, uh, because, you know, obviously I'm I'm representing a district that Joe Biden won by 10 points. Right. That's home to Bill and Hillary Clinton and George Soros. Uh, Mike Johnson's in one of the most conservative districts in the country. Well, not only that, I think he is just as a factual matter, at least in the modern era, the most conservative Republican uh, when you combine it with social issues, uh, to ever be speaker, ever. That, that may well be with the smallest uh, majority ever. Uh, and so, you know, for me, we have uh, issues that are on our side, whether you're talking about the border, whether you're talking about the affordability crisis, uh, you see the Democrats disintegrating on Israel before our very eyes, uh, and, and, you know, Senator Schumer and Nancy Pelosi throwing uh, Israel under the bus here. And meanwhile, You know, we have Marjorie Taylor Greene now trying to make this all about a motion to vacate. We have to work together. We have to get the agenda of the American people, uh, you know, passed. Uh, And that includes supporting our allies. Like Uh, Ukraine. China, Russia, and Iran are not our friends. Right. They are not our allies. Uh, Ukraine is an ally. And the reality is, if Ukraine falls, Moldova and other former Soviet satellite states will be in grave jeopardy. Uh, And you look at the situation in the Middle East, you see Democrats wanting to put conditions on aid to Israel. Uh, That cannot be. Hamas is a terrorist organization that seeks to destroy the state of Israel. Uh, And as far as I'm concerned, we have an obligation as leader of the free world to support our allies in this time of need. So speaking of Ukraine, I want to play for you something that Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky uh, said uh, earlier this week. If Congress does not help Ukraine, Ukraine will lose the war. And we need to find a public format for this. If Ukraine loses the war, other states will be attacked. If Congress does not help Ukraine, Ukraine will lose the war. What do people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, how do they respond when you make the argument that this is about more than just her beef with Speaker Johnson, that this is actually about human lives and the future of other uh, European countries? Look, I I think, as I just said, if Ukraine falls, you will see other former Soviet satellite states fall with it. Some of my colleagues say, you know, there's corruption in these countries. Yes, we know that. For 30 plus years, they have tried. Corruption in New York. New York's one of the most corrupt states in the (laughs) country. But when you look at uh, these former Soviet satellite states, they have tried to rid themselves of corruption. But it takes time. The Russian influence has been great for 30 plus years. Well, speaking of Russian influence, let me interrupt there for a second, because we've had both Chairman McCall and Chairman Turner uh, to uh, to Puck and then to me, respectively, talk about how Republican propaganda is finding its way into I'm sorry, Russian prop. Sorry, I I apologize. Freudian slip there. Russian propaganda is finding its way into the mouths of of Republican members of Congress and not to mention primetime other news channels. Look. I can't speak for others. I can speak for myself. Vladimir Putin is a vile dictator and thug. He, along with Iran and China, seek to undermine and destabilize the United States and the free world. Iran funds Hamas, 93% of their budget. You know where they get the funding from? China. China is the biggest purchaser of Iranian petroleum. It's why I passed the SHIP Act through the House. Chuck Schumer and Senate Democrats have refused to pass the SHIP Act. We all have to work together to combat the threats that are emanating from China, from Russia, from Iran. And I don't care which party it is or who uh, wants to say that we should uh, somehow be not supporting our allies. The reality is this. There will be a new world order if the United States fails to lead here. And that world order will include Russia, China, and Iran. We have a responsibility to stand up for freedom, for democracy, 
uh, and the free world. So uh, briefly, if you can, you just got back from your congressional district in New York. Uh, what are you hearing from constituents? What do they think about what's going on in D.C.? Well, look, most people are focused on affordability. Yeah. They're focused on public safety. We just had Officer Jonathan Diller murdered uh, in New York uh, with career criminals, 21 felony arrests, 14 felony arrests, including illegal possession of a firearm, released back onto the streets. That's what people are very frustrated about. They care about deeply. Uh, obviously, the crisis at our border continues to be a major challenge. And Israel and Ukraine, people want to know that we support our democratic allies. I stand by Israel. I stand by Ukraine. We have a lot of work to do in the coming weeks, and we can't be distracted by nonsense like a motion to vacate. And I'll say this, 208 Democrats voted with eight Republicans, including Matt Gates, to remove Kevin McCarthy. Hakeem Jeffries should make it very clear he's not going to participate in this. Democrats are not going to team up with Marjorie Taylor Greene, someone who, like Matt Gates, they have derided for years. Why throw the country into chaos? Let's focus on getting the job done. Congressman Mike Lawler, Republican of New York, thanks so much. Appreciate your time today.